Welcome to the Trash Cats Trash Cast. I'm Richard. I'm Steven. Today we got some sleepy boy energy coming in the room. Oh, don't say it. <laughs> this, we're not, this isn't sleepy. We're going to be, this is going to be a punk rock podcast. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to be really punk rock with it. I'm you know? sure. I'm sure as we go along here, I'll, I'll get I'll get more amped up. I'm in between the the feeling of like trying to get ready for bed, but also <laughs> trying to be <laughs> to amped, amped up, up for a podcast. How many hours do you have to wake up? Um, I I have to wake up in. Um, I mean, I have seven and a half hours from now, basically. Beautiful. I'll keep you updated every 15 minutes just to give you anxiety. <laughs> you yeah, know? Cool. Perfect. Because that would be very punk rock to be very anxious. <laughs> I usually I usually on Friday nights, I, I can't usually fall asleep until like 930, closer to 10, like earliest. That's my, my, my yeah, that's good, so early. my good time. But I can, I can operate on less than that on a Saturday because usually I come home, fucking crash. And then I'm good to go for the rest of the weekend. But man, it's pretty punk rock of you. <laughs> <laughs> Waking up at three o'clock and going to work, <laughs> dude. So what the fuck is going on this week? We got train explosions. We got UFOs. We got uh, Palestine, <laughs> Palestinian <laughs> lynchings. Like what the fuck's going it's on? And- fucking what? <laughs> Meanwhile, just when, just when you think it couldn't get more, like the news headlines couldn't get more fucking obnoxious. There's always something though, and I feel like if you, so, my thing this last week, <clears throat> my girlfriend's gone fishing. <laughs> Sarah's in Florida for like a week and a half, and it, unrelated uh, for like the last week or whatever, I've been like super depressed. And I don't give a fuck about any of this news at all, mm-hmm. and when you think of it that way. It's almost like none of it happened. <laughs> We're no. pretty too weak in America. <laughs> Be super honest with you, I'm 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 at the point right now where I we just talked about this a couple episodes ago. Like you can't get like frustrated about everything, and it's it's not so much that I'm frustrated with everything, but it's like it's so overwhelming with new shit coming in that I can't. I just like fucking I can't. How There's, about? How about this? So I know you would like to talk about, at some point, at least to touch on, a particular murder. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. So this most recent, like the closest thing to home, so like actually not the most recent closest thing to home, because the most recent thing was the other train that got derailed up here. Um, <laughs> the other train bomb the, the, that went not, up. Not the one in Ohio, but the one that's in uh, uh, Detroit that's also – like the same company and also has hazardous chemicals on board. Um, it's not on fire apparently, so that's cool. But before that, earlier this week, uh, there was a, a shooting, a mass shooting over at Michigan State, and it's like I, I feel like it's it sucks because I feel like I'm so numb to the school shooting things. Like it's it's it sucks and it's terrible and like, uh, but it's I feel like it's such a like it just happens every day kind of thing. So I didn't really think much of it until a couple of days ago. And I went online cause they didn't, they didn't release a lot of information immediately. I go online. I'm like looking for an article, like with th- some more details on it. And the first one that came up with was a Fox news article. And I usually just to clarify, this is a, a student at Michigan. State? No, he was okay. not. Okay. He was he was unaffiliated. That's what I was trying to fight, figure out. Like, what was his affiliation with the school? Like, why did he go in and do this? Did they had a reason or anything? Um, he had mental health issues uh, for a long time, and like all of that to say, like that's that's not even like relevant to to like what fucked me up. I made the mistake mm. of going down to the comments. Oh yeah, I I scrolled too far, and. It w- it made me sick. That part made me upset. Like it was every like so. Oh man, dude! I got, I just gotta insert a little preface. So as I mentioned, I'm feeling very punk rock tonight, and okay. <laughs> I I feel like I feel like we have a poten- potential contentious debate unfolding right right. Oh my god. 
a potential contentious debate unfolding right before our eyes. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if we do. I don't know okay. if you understand the direction I'm going in here. I don't, but so, I feel argumentative. <laughs> I don't think you're going to want to argue with this. Okay, okay. So the shooter was a black man, mm. and every single comment underneath it, there wasn't that many. It was a pretty fresh article. That's what The only reason I clicked on it was because it was the most recent one. And every single comment was a racist statement about nice. it, in some way it had nothing. There was there was what one website? is Fox. Like um, Fox News is yeah yeah Fox News is bullshit. They don't so, they don't clean out their, like there's no apparently not. So mm. as I I went underneath like there was one comment that started off to make points about gun control. And like ideas and like what happened and like what, you know, whatever. But then immediately like jumped into the racist pool. I'm not going to read any of it or I don't want to like repeat any of it. It's really fucked up, but it was like every single one. And then comments on the, some of those that were like, yup, like, you know, like it was, it was just, it was to a degree. I don't know. I, uh, it, it was it was to a degree that ha- had nothing to do with the article, nothing to do with the story. It's just like a, a fuck black people; they're killing our white students type of shit. <laughs> yeah, it it was yeah. But I, it, I I feel like right. That's terrible when you stumble across like that level of like crazy shit. But I, I do kind of feel like <clears throat> I'm kind of a little surprised on Fox News's actual article site. But uh, sometimes they load in comments from like Facebook or whatever. But I feel like the the thing is, is like the only people that leave comments are like the crazy people. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Or it's it's like, it's it's like bait to get you to engage with the article. Right. And, and that's it. I don't know. It just made me, there wasn't a single person that was like, had anything because the article had other information that was like the guy the reason, like, I guess he had had a charge, a prior charge that if he was convicted for the full charge, he wouldn't have been able to own a gun today or he wouldn't have been able to purchase a gun. Because it's but really that's, hard to get guns. That sentence, well, yeah, exactly. And so that sentence was reduced because he, uh, I guess, he pleaded guilty for like a lesser sentence or like pleaded a contest or whatever to the charge was. And he wasn't charged to that extreme. So he was able to get a gun. That was like the point of the article was saying that like he should, he should have. It was like an anti-gun regulation article, basically. Well, it was more, more than that. Even it was like, a lot of it was like, we, you know, they're, you know, DAs that, you know, that are making these charges and or that are lessening charges. And this is the result of it. And, you know, it's, I, I, I honestly understand that somewhat. It's like you when you misjudge somebody, but also who could have known that, but like when you make a call right like it. that, tr- yeah, exactly. When you make a call like that, it's, um, you know, that it has, it can, could possibly have repercussions and had nothing, no, nothing in the, the comments had anything to do with this point that the article had made. It was just, they, people, I, I really do think that people opened up the article, saw, or saw the story on, on TV or something, saw that it was a black guy that shot up a school, and they went online and, you know, had to put in their two cents on it. Well, and that, that's, that's the part that was like, some of the things that you could tell were like planned, or like not like planned, but like phrases that you know that they say in their regular life. Mm-hmm. One was like making saying something like not all snakes are dangerous but some of them are and that's why we got to keep your distance from them and it was like jesus christ dude like I, some I, shit like that it was like come on all right can i i, I feel like <laughs> i'm going to be such an asshole i feel like i've been patient can mm-hmm. i be can i be a piece of shit <laughs> yeah go ahead it's, it's, right. how many it's people your podcast died? too man how many people died uh 3 died 5 wounded okay Here's the question. Regardless of anything about the shooter, race, background, why the fuck he was at the school, mm-hmm. why do we care about three people dying? I 
think it's less that we care that three people died. It's more that we care about why and how. But the, to that me, it wasn't to me like the answer an to, accident. But it's a mental, it's a mentally ill person that killed three people, right? Right. Shouldn't that be like the start and end of it? Because regardless of what his philosophies or his intention or message or whatever, like we get we get four of these a week or whatever. I mean, technically, so like open and shut case on that, but then there's still, I don't know. I think there's a, a broader picture that you can look at in that situation of. Well, I feel like it's a what trap. can we do to prevent this in the future? But we can't. And these people You can't all the time, but if we can't it was anytime. easier for people to get, you know, help you know, mental help. I I don't even think that's true. I used to I think I There has to be at least a percentage of, of people that it could help that otherwise I, you're correct. Th- that is the correct argument. And it, as a principle, I agree we should be doing more of those things, right? And last week we were talking, I just ended my fucking court mandated eight years of therapy, like j- just this week. Like, I understand that having infrastructure systems to get people mental health help can make big differences on, on the-, the grand scale, right? Mm. Uh, and we should do those things on principle, but on, on the case specific, let's say gun laws are different. Let's say he's got better mental health shit, whatever. The, I mean, I guess you could say there's a chance nothing ever happens, but the people I've met that like do that kind of shit, like that level of crazy shit, like they're, they're going to do something or, or, uh, or I, I get, I think what I'm trying to say not very well is I don't believe you can like minimize harm and do enough harm reduction that not that these things won't happen right i I feel like no matter what we do like this is just how how it will be it it will continue to be a problem at least in some in some uh you know quantity and and i get i'm at the point where i I don't give a fuck like if somebody should like i don't care about school shootings or train bombs (laughs) unless unless it's in my neighborhood and that's like exactly uh, uh, there. That's like so shitty, but I think we all. I don't know. I, I just. I, I don't care what happens to other people. I'm going full anti-natalist. Life is bad, <laughs> and like it's sh- good. Like bad things shouldn't happen to good people, but it does, and I can't help them. Even even if that's the case, and and you, that's the way you feel, I and I I can't in particular argue with that. It's. Like I just said a minute ago that like, I can't, I'm so numb to all of it that it just, it, it's in one ear and out the other. I just earlier, it, it, this happened on Monday of this week. I didn't hear about it until Tuesday. So Tuesday I, I learned the news two fucking days later, I'm at work and I realized the flags are all at half mass. And I was like, what's going on? What's like, what are they down for this time? And Someone told me, oh, this is the Michigan State shooting. And I was like, oh, yeah. It just, it felt like it was so long ago in my head. It was like, it just, it's, and I, it's one of those like this, it, that should be, ideally, that should be a gigantic atrocity that like, why? Sit, no, because like it, I, in an ideal world, and not an ideal world even, but like in a world where, like that should be the the news of like that's because shit like that doesn't happen. Like the idea would be that like shit like this doesn't happen as often. Okay. So that when it does, it's a bigger deal. The reason it's not a big deal is because it happens all the time. Can I can I be more contentious with the preface that I know we are ideologically aligned. I, I'm and and I am speaking on. Not what I think is correct, but how I feel. I think a lot of people feel some level of angst similar to this. Mm -hmm. But I would argue we kill each other all the fucking time. Like there's probably tonight in your state like a hundred people that are starving and 10 of them might die tonight. 
Right. Like, there's going to be people that freeze in the cold. Like, there's going to be people that get raped and killed yeah. all the fucking time. And I, I don't know why, because the nature of how it happened, I should have any more concern about three people dying due to somebody who was mentally ill than, like, we just dropped a bomb on Somalia today. Mm -hmm. I feel like there is a, I don't know if it's particularly a um, logical fallacy, but I think the thing is, it's not that they matter more or less. It's like when it's like when someone like donates money to a charity, right? And the other people so are why'd like, "Why'd you pick that one?" <laughs> yeah, why didn't you donate to this? You should donate to this one too. Or like, why didn't you? you know, like, there are people that need your help here, and it's like the maximizing good, like donating to an animal charity, is inherently wrong if you believe humans are more valuable than animals. Right? Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. And it's like, it's not that you should care more about this. It's that we are being stretched so thin that we, you, you can't be expected to be able to care about all of it at the same time. There's too much. There's too much atrocity. So he, there's here's, too many people, even the people that are dying from hunger and shit on and cold on the street, like that's, it's a fucked up system that has, has them out there and, you know, doesn't have the resource to to prevent that. Well, how's, I'll I'll spin this way. You and John on our last episode talked about dirtball theory. Yeah, zoomed out. We're uh, on a rock, on a dust in a turtle's mind, floating throughout outer space. Right. Yeah. Big picture stuff. <sighs> Wouldn't it? Th think of how many people go to school every day and don't get shot. Not mm -hmm. that. And I think everyone should be able to go to school and not get shot. I don't think it's like <laughs> – I don't think you should have to roll the dice with it. But right. it's a very small problem by the standards of everything else. Like uh, drug overdoses in Michigan that week have to be way – I mean like out of control by comparison. You know, our big news stories – and it's for good reason. I'm not saying it's like for bad reason, but when we see uh, a cop kill a young man on the news, that's always a big story, right? Mm -hmm. Th the reality is like that happens less than 50 times a year, 30 times a year, where meanwhile, there's going to be murders in every fucking hood in the world every day. Like there... It doesn't mean those things don't deserve our care and attention, but I, I I feel like with trauma or like how shitty life is, because I think of life so fucking shitty, I feel very dirtball removed from from the I don't know the intricacies. Mm -hmm. I feel free of the. Painful intricacies. <laughs> <laughs> Nailed it. Of um, of all this bullshit, because like, uh, I mean, we're 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 just gonna eat and kill and rape each other anyway. Like, well, right? that's the thing. Like, are are you gonna go outside and kill and eat and rape? If I need to, fuck yeah. Well, but you don't need to. Oh yeah, that's you know that's my point. Like it. It's not that when you say like we're going to, it's like as a species, yes, that's that's an issue. But for the majority, like there are outliers that, that you know, if, when you look at, if you're going to look at numbers like that, like true, a lot of people do die, but like, and a lot of people commit atrocities, but on a gr grander scale, more, more people are not doing that, right? Like, I don't, ma I maybe don't, smaller things like lying to each other, or, you know, whatever. I don't agree with that. I think it, I think so much of it depends on where you are, even street to street, city to city. Now, you're always the one that's like, generally people are good. I think we've we've done this one before. I've 50-50, straight down the middle. I feel like, I but but EK, okay, so even if it's 50-50 straight down the me middle, that people have good intentions, people have um, less good intentions, even if that's the, the argument. Even the people with, with even within the people with less good intentions, 
Not all of them are murderers. No, Not all of them are, but are there, there's a lot of there's a lot of hungry, sick, fucked up people that have had very tragic lives that can easily shoot up a school. That's true, but I still don't think it's in in any kind of majority. No, but I, I, I would, I would actually, in fact, call that per, you know, that population a minority. I, I'll agree with you. Yeah. So that being said, there are more people that live on this planet that are more that want to just live on this planet for whatever yeah. other reasons they have. Right. So sure. To say that it's, you know, it's just going to happen. It's just going to happen. But the thing is that it shouldn't happen at all. Like the things that are like, when, what percentage of people are born as psychopaths? I don't know. It's like one out of, they say like one out of a hundred is like a true psychopath. But That's it, pretty high. I think it's low. It, I, I've heard other estimates where it's like maybe one out of ten are, they, they might not be like fully quantifiable, but they, they have elements of that. Like even, let's say, so let's say that number is garbage, but let's just like run with it for practice. Like a certain amount of people are born fucked up and are always going to do bad things. If it's one out of a hundred, one percent of people doing really fucked up shit will like rip through the other 99%. One person can do way more damage than most of the time, 99% of unmotivated people who aren't changing anything can prevent like i just i think these things are meant to happen i don't i don't like them i don't think they're good i don't think we should not do anything but i think that's just how it's supposed to be i i can't imagine a world where we can have freedom of of speech of movement to uh ingest substances whatever the fuck i can't imagine us having freedom and also not having staggering levels of violence. Like when I I keep going back to my head, I was watching fucking Homeland this week because I couldn't sleep. Uh, and I always think about our torture episode. And the reason I find terrorists so fascinating is because they, they believe in something fully. Mm -hmm. And it feels like it can be emotionally validated. There's part of me that I, I, I think feels like if our society sucks and our and that's due to like human nature being shitty, that it guarantees certain levels of trauma and like damage. And we're all putting our damage into the world. And then we have these events that hurt everyone even more, but it's all like the result of our damage output. And I, I don't see there ever being a way where we can be free and still not hurt each other ultimately resulting in random acts of violence and see like that's i find that very sad I, so do i i i, I think <laughs> i mean while I, like i definitely don't see that as being a possibility within our lifetime sure um, but you're hopeful i'm hopeful it's one of those i can picture it i can what I would can it look like because i can't picture it at all <laughs> i'm this is like genuine i mean i'm and I'm curious I, how this could be without it being like dystopian as fuck. So, I mean, that's, that's kind of the thing is it's like, there are, there are a couple ways in which that happens in my head. And that's the, the, the number one has always been the, like, we find a common energy or, or a, a common energy, a common enemy. That's the, the thing of like. All the UFOs it, this week. Yeah. yeah. Well, there's been a thing about like, you know, we will never as a planet. We will never gr like group together as one. We will never – there will always be enough fractions between us that we will never stand as one mm -hmm. until there is an, an opposing greater threat. And even then – I don't buy it. Yeah. And even, yeah, even then it's not like – like so like when COVID happened, that was my original thought was like, oh, this is – this could be the thing. This could be the – Negative. 
<laughs> right. Well, exactly. Yeah. So like that was my, my original thought was like, oh, you know what? This is something that we all have to go through together. This is something that we all have to like, this is affecting everybody and we have to stand up and we have to like pull together for this. This is could be a, a, a global effort to like figure out what's going on and stop it. And like, a lot of and, good things and it, came it, it, it was the most divisive thing yeah, that happened. Absolutely. And, in you know, the last fucking millennia. Uh, it might be a stretch, but I'm with you. Okay. Well, okay. Well, let, let, so the last two years for sure. <laughs> <laughs> it's been about the worst thing in the last. Well, I mean, for real. Cause then, you, you know, people are going to be like, oh, 9 11, hurricane, whatever the fuck, like being in a desert war for 10 years. I mean, it, it so, killed a million people, right? Well, At least. I, I guess what I mean when I say that is that. Let, let me let me clarify because I, I feel like that's a hyperbole and it, it somewhat is, but I, I, I do want to kind of stand by it. So there – while there have been greater atrocities and wild shit that's happened on this planet and, you know, in that time, I – in, you know, the last couple – you know, the last thousand years or so, what I mean is that we have – we now as a planet have this information network where everyone's connected to each other in some way or another. And we, we created a fission, uh, uh, you know, not a fission. That's not the right word. We created this fracture within like, even in within families, like within, you know, uh, states and shit. Like there was definitely, I mean, I'm still not completely sold that it's not going to happen, but there were, there are many times where I thought, oh, fuck, we're going to go into civil war over some dumb shit like this. Like, uh, and, and not just with that, but like with other countries where it was like, we're saying like, oh, China's and it's, it's their fault. And like, I, here's, here's the, here's the takeaway. Mm hmm. I'm I'm pushing right now. I'm, okay. I'm the pusher. Okay. <laughs> Here here's the, here's the question. We, we lost we lost the ability to communicate basic truths to each other. Like it is like definitely one of the worst events in a lifetime in a hundred years. Right. If we get a new one a week from now, it's twice as bad as COVID. Do you think it'd be any different? Oh God, no, not at all. That's my point. No, 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 I, no, 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 I agree with you. I agree with you. I, I agree with you on that. But uh, it's not, but that being said, that's where, like, it's hope. The the hope for, like, the... the what? The, so, the, no, the few, we, we were just talking about before, like, the reason yeah. we got onto this topic, the the idea of a future without the, the you know, the violence of, you know... Uh, yeah, I think... The I, random acts of violence, whatever. Like, the... I feel like I offered you evidence of despair. I feel like, you know, the, you the idea that we and can all pull together. It, that, this is, again, this is an, an optimist and a pessimist. Yeah, absolutely. It's so that's it. the idea of, it's, it's, you know, is it likely at all? No. I think for sure, in my, in my head, I definitely, I believe we'll probably kill each other before we, we get there. I got, I got a philosophical question. What? Could you realistically how could you hmm, how could you ever hope for a hopeful future when you know there's pessimists like is that possible like outside of any current situation can optimists ever truly have the hopeful things they they hope for yeah because pessimists aren't so much that they're naysayers they just Aren't, they don't make me to picture it on that side. Being a pessimist doesn't mean that, you know, I'm not going to let good prevail. I'm not going to let, you know, but a good thing happen. It's not that uh, being a pessimist doesn't mean that you can't have nice things. It might. It doesn't, though. It can. It does not, though. <laughs> it absolutely doesn't mean that. It Other factors that – other factors might cause that for an individual but the fact itself of being a pessimistic person does not in itself mean that you can't it's not even that you, you wouldn't appreciate hope. it yeah it I, honestly it doesn't even mean that you can't have hope yeah i i, I agree i think i more the english i i should have took was human nature do you think we 
do you think we ever can be the ubermensch and over overcome thyself? And... That is the harder one. Because I just much harder one. I, I think we are just way closer to dog lizards, like little lizard dogs. <laughs> dog <that> lizard. <laughs> Confirmed the trash cats, trash cats. Steven thinks we're lizard people. We're dog lizard we're people. We're dog lizards. Absolutely. I just, I don't, I don't think there, there is the world where, right? Let's, John's, John's hesitancy to eat honey without mm-hmm. doing his research, right? The idea that a, a beekeeper could keep their apiary in top, tip top shape, right? Mm-hmm. And we think it's the best fucking honey. It's so fucking good. These bees are buzzing around all fucking happy and shit. What if the reality is just the mere fact, even if everything else is just done perfect, the fact that they didn't choose to be in that box meant that their life was just a living hell, like absolute torture. Mm-hmm. What if there, there's part of that where no matter how right or engineered we make things, that there's just part of our nature that never, never could let that be. He said with pun fully intended. (laughs) (laughs) You know, you got to break a few bees to get some baklava. Um, <laughs> no, no, I, I I wanted to say that because I thought it was funny. So, uh, I, I, but I I do think that. So while why do I, you believe in us? I'm no, so frustrated. No, no, no. Let, let, let me let me finish it because I I think you'll fully agree with this. Go. While I agree, so you know me. I I I liked the part of the Satanic Bible that said you know like embrace the animalistic nature of yourself. You know your your what what the christian church calls your your mortal sins or whatever your pride your envy your lust your greed your you know like you should embrace those things because you have them it's natural you should embrace them Mm -hmm. but i think that there's an issue with control so there's that you know we talked about on the other episode the um the ego the super ego the id and where you know some people tend to like you know, follow one more than the other. And I feel like that's, that's more of the issue at hand than it is like the, the, like greed is greed's part of it, but it's, it's the control of it. Like, yeah, we all want more. We all want to have better shit. Not, not all, but we, most of us, we, we want to have better shit. We want to have nicer shit. So the difference is like, do how do you go about that? How do you control that? Of like, do you like where do you stop yourself? Even like, I know, I know for sure. Like when when you start making money, you know the feeling of like you you start a new job or something, and you start getting fat paychecks, and you're like, I just oh shit, something. like yeah. I want not, and then you want more, and then I you want buy more. Two grams of heroin. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, you know, <laughs> and it's like, do you need that much? Nah, not right now. I don't need it. I want it. You want it, yeah. <laughs> so it's it's stuff like that where we, you know, he. I think that's the the it's the con, it's a control issue. It's it's not I, so much that, I and, and that's part of our nature too, I guess. So I see you. And myself, but to a much less. I I feel like we're people that keep uh, at least a modest level of control of ourselves. Mm -hmm. Like I I might feel a bit more animalistic than you do, but we both have to keep ourselves in check. Like that's that's what being a person is. It's the only thing that keeps our fucking spine vertical, right? It's not Mm. giving in to like full base desires or whatever but when i when i think when i think of proof right that it can't be different not that it can't be better it can be better and we should strive for things to be better but i don't believe it can be different and my my evidence i will present on a little silver little silver tray 
is I don't think anyone cares about anything except when they do. Meaning, you cared about this school shooting when you read about this school shooting and you saw certain comments or, or reporting. That's the thing. Is, that, that's the thing is, I, I, it's not even. It's not even that I cared about the school shooting, Stephen. That's, I, that's, it's, 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 it's part of it. what bothers me. Right. There, there, there is part of that, but like, it's it's yeah, it's the response to it. It's the general public and and. But if everyone yeah. cared, nothing would be getting done. Like if if humanity as a whole, right, like truly gave a fuck about anything, right, no one would be at work today. We we would be fucking trying to salvage the the train massacre or going to feed all the people starving. We would be at the school volunteering. Like, if we actually gave a fuck at all, no one would be going to their job if they had enough food to feed themselves. Like, I, I just, I don't buy that any of us truly care, except when we choose to for a little while. Because it's not our lives and we don't have to care about it. It's like a luxury. Like we, it's it feels good to choose to care about something for a little while, but I think I think when we're honest, it's none of us really give that much of a fuck. I don't fully disagree with you because I, I definitely, especially in like modern culture where it's these things happen all the fucking. There's a new thing. There's multiple things every day. And you can't, you, there's no way you, until it's like someone in your family that's in a, in exactly. involved or like something like that. Like you, you can't, you, no one has that energy. And even in your family, right? You have a family member really fucked up, like dying. We care, right? You're, you, you, right. it still might kill you, but that moment of thought you have alone or, or you get to leave the hospital or whatever, there's relief. It's like, oh my God, I don't have to worry about this shit anymore. Or like, yeah, yeah, no, absolutely. For a split second, like, I just feel like that's, that's a human thing too. And we're meant to be that way to like protect ourselves and survive. You and I think of each, each thing that you care about as a weight. And when you hmm. pick it up, you, you can only carry so much. Yeah. And when you, when you, let it go. That's that's the relief, right? Is you, you have, don't have that weight on your back, you have the weight on your shoulders. Like that's the thing. I got big shoulders. You got the put, big, big brawny shoulders. Put Steven that weight cares on about. Me. Stephen cares about everything. I'll carry the weight of the world. <laughs> Said the pessimist. <laughs> I'll carry it by putting those weights into the ocean. <laughs> <laughs> put it in a wheelbarrow and push it off a cliff. <laughs> Forget about it. Yeah, <laughs> but. Uh, we can we could go back and forth. I feel like pretty deeply on this for a while, but the reality is, let's say I, I'm I'm driving on my fucking way to work, and I I see a little gaggle of school kids. Right, I, I don't know what you call a flock of annoying children. <laughs> I get home that night, flip on the news, find out three of those kids got fucking shot up like Swiss cheese. Right, why the fuck should I care? Mm hmm. I, I don't think it's good. I, I don't want right. harm to happen to these kids, but it doesn't affect my life. I didn't cause it. I can't change it. Why the fuck should I have to hold that weight? You shouldn't. But we all do, to some degree yeah. or another. But we don't do it Because anything. you're human. I don't want to, I want to be a dog lizard. I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I, I kind of got, that's a, I'm that's done a, picking up weights. That That's that's the thing is is, you shouldn't be expected to Everyone to. expects us to. No, they don't. I mean, if they do, they're wrong. Why do they write these fucking articles? Well, I mean, they write these articles for the people that are interested in reading them. These write, they write these articles for the people, even like me, that are just, I want to know what happened. I at least want to know what happened. I don't need to, you know, uh, um, I, have, I, I don't need to have the sorrow in my heart of... You know the 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 three lives that were lost and these these kids that are in the hospital now and like I don't need to hold that. But to be fair, everyone uh, realistically, I mean, I I agree with you. Like, but realistically, everyone is constantly fighting for our attention, our time, our attention, our eyes. Like emotionally manipulating 
us through our phones, the news, art, like everyone wants our time. There, mm-hmm. I, I think it is fair to say, every, like pretty much everything is trying to negotiate or fight for our attention and our through our emotions. Well, yeah, I mean that's that's advertising, baby. Uh, yeah, I agree. That's that's the that's what makes money. And it, I mean, there's there's absolutely the, I mean, that's another reason they publish the articles too. As they know that people are looking it up, yeah. sure, but like there's ads on those pages. That's you know most of the reason they do. Yeah, they so I mean that's that's what pays for the fucking website. Yeah, the the whole. I'm just not getting any hope out of this, brother. <laughs> I, I don't I don't see. I see there, there's always going to be the great is, people. You, you're like never you, you're never right? going to get the hope if you keep looking at the bad shit. I mean, we're, we're forced to keep looking at the bad shit, but it's it's when you take it in and sort it and introspect on yourself. I think that's that's when I, at least, I'm able to like, what's important to me? What's important to me right now? What's going to be important to me in the next month, six months, a year? Shit like that. Like, is this going to is this going to be something that's going to weigh me down tomorrow? No. You know? We it's, have some common ground there. You you have to be able to sort it and control it. And it's like, of course, it's terrible that things like that happen, but it's – you can't. You just you, – you can't do that to yourself. Like, be – if you're going to be upset about anything, don't be upset so much of, you know, uh, that, that it happened uh, – or th- be upset that it, that it happened and why – don't be upset that it happened and like, and who to and, and okay, this was a sad thing, but like, if there's something that maybe it's a, something that you can be fixed, thing can be fixed. Like if, if people were focused on that, if people were focused on details of like, I don't know, I'm I not saying, I'm not saying it can be fixed. I'm not saying it will be fixed. I'm saying that if people focus on that instead, if people focus on moving forward, finding solutions. That's the way I find hope, at least, of like, okay, if something's going to occupy my time and something's going to, like, be in my head, then I need to be able to find a solution for it. Otherwise, I drop it. Our arguments are coinciding a little bit in a uh, probably a good way. But I, I think we have common ground in, in the sense I also strongly feel we should have hope for ourselves. For, oh, absolutely. For what, how we can change ourselves, our future, make things better to do what we can not to catch a straight bullet and make it to an old age or whatever the fuck. Yeah. But I, the part, I think I I have a detach from what you're saying. I, I want the, what you explain on better world solutions, working together. This is all, all it, and it always will. Every argument will always go to the, the one hallway, right? Yeah. Your one hallway theory. But he, but your question, I feel like you you pose or you you steadfastly hold or or remain that there is hope that not only can we not just for ourselves but as a people going down the hallway on this big stupid dirt ball in space that there's a way for things to be better and that we can work or ask those questions of others to try to build that. Is that fair to say? Say it one more time for me. Yeah, I, I gobbled it. <laughs> um, just you believe things can be better as a people. Yeah. That we can work together. We can try to find solutions. Like you had very pragmatic mm-hmm. uh positive steps on like how how we could basically make things better not just for ourselves because we agree we both can do that for ourselves or try to but you believe as a people that is a thing we should strive for is that fair yeah and i'm saying our arguments i think meet at the hope for ourselves but where i'm diverging from you is i don't, i don't see the point of even begging the question that it that it is worth 
trying as a people, not for ourselves, as ourselves 100%, but you were saying you want to, to ask that of each other, basically, to try to find ways to work together to strive for it. Mm-hmm. And I feel like that's fundamentally unhuman. I don't think so. Let me let me say this. I I don't the the, the phrasing of I would ask people to strive for that. The thing is, I shouldn't. You shouldn't have to ask. It's, yeah. I th- it boils down to the "don't be a dick" thing. I agree. You shouldn't have to ask people to not be a dick. I think it's fine to remind people sometimes. Hey, you're being a dick. I was trying but, to find better verbiage. You said something that I was trying to uh, restate how how you said it, and I was fucking it up. <laughs> i i do want to I do want to take a walk down the hallway with you real quick for a second. So in in said hallway theory, in my my hallway of everybody, you know, if everyone's in there doing the wild shit that they do. Sure, you might have people that are like fucking up the hallway. Maybe they're throwing bombs down, like up ahead of where we're all walking. All we're the all... hippies are hacky sacking, tripping all the old people. <laughs> yeah, you know. But like, let's say, like you know, the people up ahead maybe are like they're destroying the hallway, and it's harder to walk through because there's the trash or there's you know like rubble and whatever. But or, you know, someone falls and, like, hurts themselves or something. It's, I don't know. It's it's nice to think that maybe, you know, maybe a large, maybe per- percentage of people walk by and they, they don't help anyone else. But it's, I sincerely believe that there is a, a large population of those people that will help someone who's fallen or help guide people through shitty parts of it. And without knowing each other, that's, that's what the, that's what the hallway theory looks like with the full hallway with your lonely ass, empty hallway. You're the one, you're the one throwing the trash and you have to walk over yourself. I'll clean it up forever. (laughs) I'll clean up my own trash forever. I have the, I have an analogy you inspired, but but when, when the rubble from my hallway falls into yours, it ain't there's gonna no, happen. There's, they're there's no one there to help you. Oh, got, they're ad- they're adjacent. Steve. I got big shoulders and big hands and a bigger <laughs> trash can. <laughs> All right, here's the analogy. All right, the hallway is a mine, mine shaft. All of humanity in the fucking mine shaft. We're going to the middle of the earth. I think people who work their life's work is to run a charity or to volunteer somewhere. I think they're idiots. <laughs> I think, and I mean it in the best way because I truly appreciate their hopefulness and ide- idealism, but they're fucking idiots. I I truly appreciate what they do, but I can't imagine g- sacrificing my life to try to change something that fundamentally by human nature, can never change. Like, if you get enough pleasure out of helping individuals and that's sustaining for you and you enjoy that charity, that's wonderful. But I think it's kind of dumb. Let me, so, my, sorry, let me, let me run yeah, through it for a minute. The analogy of the mine. All of humanity going through the mine. All it takes is like one or two people to fucking knock one of the support beams and that fucks up a mine, right? You might, you know, some people might be able to still crawl through, but your mind turns into a blocked fucking heart artery, right? Like, the more rubble that falls, the harder it is for people to squeeze through. And you got the people who do charity and uh, fucking want to report on all the school shootings and, like, incite sympathy and change and idealism and all that shit. They're the ones trying to hold up the support beams and clean up the rubble and they're they're crying and telling people to help them hold stuff and move the the rocks and stuff and i th- i think it's silly because there's always going to be another person who pulls down a beam and and my my point is not that 
I think it's amazing the people that are willing to sacrifice their chance to get to the end of the tunnel to help other people. But I don't think it should ever be this thing where you stop moving. Mm -hmm. If anything, it should be on your way through, you move one rock. You see you it. You see it that as like a Sisyphean curse, if you will. Yeah, that it just it it just, it you're, just you're, is you're who we fighting, are. You're you're staving off the inevitable. But I think you do too. I think you you're just more positive. Uh, but I don't think you fully believe it, and I don't think anyone does. I I, I don't mean I don't think you're being like contra. I, I here, here's the the other. So let me let me go back to what you said for a second. So. For the people that do devote like their lives to making changes or doing doing things for the the better for their own sacrifice, think of it this way, because I think of some of it's a projection from you. So your your passion, the things that you're passionate about. Or the things that you feel like you – that give meaning to your life. What if they're just not the same for other people? What if for I, that – what if for that. someone else, that's what gives them purpose. That's what fulfills them as a as a, as a, a, a life, not just as a person, but just as someone that's forced to live on this planet. I, I, and like I said, I admire them. For right, that, right. But I don't understand why the fuck they would get that much fulfillment out of it. So, the, so that being said, I I feel like it's so. I feel like it's the the point you were getting at before. I, I want to get back to that for a second. So you were saying that like, I think what we got to was like it's a Sisyphean kind of thing where like you're yes there are people that are that are sacrificing themselves for the benefit of the other, others but is it actually for the benefit of the others if it's they're long-term? losing themselves right so for nothing so the the up the the comeback i want to have for that is i would hate to live in a world that doesn't have i would hate to live in a world of people that don't have those tendencies i agree i, I agree i don't think it makes sense that they do that but i agree and i'm glad they do if anything i would even argue that is those people are more human among us than the ones who aren't because of their folly not their charity no (laughs) (laughs) no (laughs) dude what kind of because of so I mean, that's the thing that would would separate us. If if you were to say like, who's more animalistic, the people who are stopping and and trying to like create progress, or the people that are you know survive, you know, trying to save themselves and like looking out only for themselves, the people that are looking out for themselves, that's way more animalistic. That's survival. That what if they're that's, just vain peacocks that like the way their feathers look in the mirror? Then they're peacocks, and that's animals. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's, I mean the givers. No, oh, well, if they're not. Well, if if they're are still the givers giving, really though. takers. Givers <laughs> really <laughs> takers. No, that hungry. Meant, have that a meant hell of nothing. <laughs> Absolutely. That was total bullshit. So, the hungry have a hell of an appetite. All right, we're we're all Mortal Kombat characters, mm-hmm. and our health bar is our hunger. Right? Mm-hmm. I don't want to make ten thousand peanut butter sandwiches every single day <coughs> to give out to people that can eat all of them. Right? There, there is. I, I don't feel like putting. If let's say I have unlimited peanut butter. And bread. If I sit down for every afternoon for the rest of my life and make as many fucking peanut butter sandwiches as I can, realistically, I don't think it changes anything. There's always going to be more people. There's always going to be more hunger. You might temporarily help a lot of people, but Mm -hmm. I don't think it can change. I don't think that can override the fundamental human nature that creates people that will be hungry. Does that make sense? Like, I feel like it, it, it is clearly pessimistic, 
but I it is I, clearly pessimistic. But I think it's true. Like I, well, I, I don't it, think I would, people I should would, do that. But. I would invite you to look at it from the perspective of the person who's receiving the peanut butter sandwich. And I'm grateful for pe- for homeless sandwiches. That shit. I've had times. I've got those sandwiches, and it's made me cry. Like I want people to to make sandwiches for. I want. I want Santa's entire workshop of elves just to be making me peanut butter sandwiches forever. I now, want people to do that. So that person, so but someone, it doesn't change anything. Well, they lived another. Whoever ate that peanut butter sandwich, at least didn't die of hunger that day. That might be. You might hit a corner because that might be somewhere our paths are. I can, why? Why can I not make the the analogy here? That might be because somewhere you're or, wrong, Stephen. That's why. But does it matter? Y- your, your philosophy <laughs> is wrong. <laughs> My point is, <laughs> I don't think it matters if one person doesn't die from hunger that day. On a grand scale, sure, I'll give you that. But what if it's ten thousand so, people? What if, if it's a million people? I don't think it changes anything. That's my point. The point is. That if it's something that could be prevented, and yet we do nothing, then we are part Why aren't we protesting right now? I mean, that's a valid point. That's what... I feel like this conversation, other people have... No, 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 I mean, on. like, th- th- that is a valid point. But I, I would also come back and say, like... But then are you gonna you're gonna stay protesting for the rest of your life because it's gonna be that's that's when it comes to well why don't exactly. you protest for this thing why don't you protest for that thing why don't you protest for this so that's, the question is how many rocks to pick up because basically we agree but it's on levels of difference mm-hmm. and I, at that level of how big your shoulders are how many how many rocks can you put up how many little trauma boulders mm-hmm. can you move for other people that's basically our disagreement yeah. The, I don't know, I feel like there is, sure, there's things that come from protest in the way that, I think more comes from protest in the way that people, people are made aware of I was, things. We can say I don't, protest was uh, hyperbole for change. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, cause I, I, but I feel like, I mean, if... If you're not too, so far black pilled that you believe that that you can still believe that you know putting putting the right people in charge of things can make a difference, if if you're still if you're still on board that far, I mean that's I don't know that's the I goal, am. right? It's man, it's hard. It really is. It I, is. I think it's I, that's one of those like I I choose to believe that it's possible that that's. That that's the answer because that's like well, then what else is there? I agree in the sense I believe we should act as if we can make changes. We should correct. I don't necessarily think voting makes any fucking sense at all. But if it's the only tool we have, or you know, besides protesting, or whatever, like we should live that right. by taking those actions. Maybe, maybe. But I don't. Every time you go to vote, they take all the ballots and they feed burn them, them out back. And little mice eat there's them. the grand master of the Illuminati that's like... <laughs> they put them on peanut butter sandwiches and feed the homes. <laughs> <Our folks. laughs> We're solving all the world's problems. Oh, vote for hunger. Oh, God. That's uh, <laughs> every vote's a vote for hunger. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, you know, it, but but even even if that were the case, even if that, that is the case, I'm, like... I'm still going to go out and vote. I'm still going to, because it's the only, it's the only little bit of power I got other than like trying to do something myself. And I, I, to be honest with you, I would rather be happy. And that's, that's my selfish part of it was, is like when it comes to getting like super involved with a lot of it, it's like, I'm, I just want to live is, is close with my family and quiet and peacefully as possible. Yeah, maybe absolutely. that's the coward's way out. I think it is. The, it, I, th- I mean, I I, I I would agree. I, I I think not that I feel that way, but I think nature of our conversation that has to be the conclusion. And I, I feel like 
where I'm landing is I want to do the right thing. I don't want to pass someone on the street who is dying and not help. I, I don't want to like stand by while regimes take control of our life. Like I, I want to be a person who tries, but I don't think I don't think we can ever say it is wrong or doesn't make sense not to try. Because mm-hmm. because I think that's I think by the nature of how we are, there truly is no point of putting any effort towards anything outside of our own best interests. Yeah. It sounds really cruel, but I feel that I mean, way. But I don't want to. No, I, I, mean, I don't choose to live that way all the time. But I think that no, is, it's hard because I mean, there, this sense of self-preservation is very real, and it's I, that's why I feel like with. Especially what if I extend it? Can I go full sicko mode on it? <laughs> sure, why not? <laughs> why should we even protect ourselves? Why should there be any in- inclination to even hold out that that plot of land, that little plot of hope where we both agree we should hold for ourselves mm-hmm. at least? Because I, if I'm honestly, if I'm fully honest, I don't think uh, that holds any meaning either. I mean, but that's all we no. got. It's, I mean, part of its instinct, right? That survival instinct of keep something for yourself and and have, you know, if you can, if you can have resources to survive, that's innately wanna, built into us. But I just want to argue everyone into not caring about anything. <laughs> Good luck. Honestly, I I don't. That's that's my optimist point of view. Is I, I don't think you'll succeed. Oh, I think I will. <laughs> I think I, I can pick off the weak ones one by one till I gain the minority and overtake overtake them all. I don't know. I, I feel like, I mean, aside from how I, you could even argue that you know someone who tries to get into politics to make changes is doing the same. They're they're also the people that are trying to fi- hold the beams up and yes, make because yes. the the struggle to get through that. And I would yes. argue they're full, foolish for doing yeah. so. Now, here, here, this might be kind of interesting. How is how I feel about? I don't even know what we're going to call this argument. We should have a name because we'll probably f- refer to it at some point. But how how would my argument be any different than, or or, or how could it not be simultaneously occurring a, as your dirt, like your and John's dirt ball? Like if we're all just on a, a fucking rock floating through space, a speck of dust, how the fuck do these ideas not line up? Because I feel like they do, mm. right? To a point, riddle yes. me this, Batman. So, so, so I I do have an answer for that, and the answer okay. is that we're human. That we do have oh. to. I mean, you look. If you, you you can look at it from a cosmic a cosmic <laughs> perspective, good. sure. But like we live on this dirt ball. You can look at it as at a macro point of view. But ah, every ball. day you wake up and you're fucking here. You're on it. You got to walk through it. I got to give you props. I th- honestly, I think that was the only answer you could have get could have given to justify that answer. That was, I mean, that was, it's good. It's, it's very true. I, I think it's important to see things from that perspective and, and understand like what's going on and why that's for, like I said, for me, that gives much more meaning to my, my movements because each, I mean, while it may seem like, like what's the long, like in long term, sure. It does none of it matters. Let's all just fucking drink the Kool-Aid. Right. But if it's, I don't know. I, I I have a chance to fucking live a life and try to be happy, and if I can help other people do that along the way, and I have the energy and, to, and the ability to do it, then I should take it. You want to get really nutty? How tired yeah. are you? I mean, I'm a little bit. Do we do we flip on the second burner? Because I could get, throw us for a real loop. All right, as long as you don't take more than fifteen minutes, I'll leave it up to you. All right, we're gonna. Uh, I'll I'll punt the ball. And you can run it as far or as short as you'd like. You just all call right, it out. All right, all right, you, Here, here's what we're going to do. This will be extra punk rock of us. 
We're going to Uno reverse. <laughs> is punk rock um, a, I, a, a I new just, word you're using for cringe? <laughs> it is, because I just fucking hate punks. They're so fucking stupid. It's <laughs> such a gar- So much garbage fucking music. There's like three good bands, and the rest fucking suck, and they're annoying and loud. So let's Uno reverse it real quick. Mm-hmm. Switch positions with me. I'll be the hopeful human ta- human Atarian standing on two legs, caring about my That's dirt. Inc- I, okay, I'm. I definitely don't have the energy to argue against my own points. No, I'll argue for something your point. that I. It's not a, a a point of like. Oh come on! So you got a little juice in you. I will. Switch. I mean, I feel, I'll I feel like I feel like I've challenges. conceded. In in multiple parts already, I feel like I've conceded to like yeah, I can understand looking at progression as a Sisyphean, you know, issue of like it's it's never it, it's never ending. Especially if you you can fight for all the changes you want, but it's not going to happen in our lifetime. Like I absolutely understand like the the black pill of it all. I know I, you do. I was just yeah, curious I, I, if you I, had I, to push. I if you had to, try I'm definitely to push not going to. S- I'm not going to put anything as wild as you've already said out into the world. So you don't have any psycho killer perspective. I, <laughs> if if I had to argue, no, sorry, Stephen, I don't. <laughs> damn, I thought you were prepared. If if I had to try to change my brain chemistry and. Look at it. Your uh, the main, main reason I called for a switch is because I I feel like on a maybe a different issue that wasn't so like subjective, our our, our perspectives or thoughts we could try to farther uh, each other's argument or understanding or whatever. I, I I feel like with this, if I had to say, or I had to try to take your lens of approach on this, I would say that. Regardless of how how selfish or um, how unable we are to change human nature, Mm -hmm. that we still have to try only because it is an ultimate benefit to ourselves for the people around us to be better off. If they have a fuller belly, they are going to complain less. Yeah, and my life will be better. I feel like that that kind of approach of uh, like pure pragmatism could be the only way, only way for me to get through the tunnel that way. And I feel like that that argument is based more on proximity than uh, the possibility of a, a fundamental change. Mm-hmm. Like that, if if. Like I, I see it in your life, like with your your own family, right? Like you guys take care of each other, uh, you care about it, you love each other, even if the rest of the world was like full scummo fuck shit mode, you guys could do okay because you would take care of each other. Even if things mm-hmm. were rough, like you could you could make it oh, through if, the tunnel. If things were rough. Yeah, not, if, not like now, but if things were oh, rough. We're, we're coasting on easy yeah. street right now. <laughs> you know, if the world sucked a little bit, you know, it would be all right. But I, I kind of yeah. think, though, like, it's so much easier to see how the world is so fucked now. Like you said, we're so much more interconnected. But I don't think there's any real argument to say things are worse now than they were any time in the past. Maybe not, but I would definitely argue that it's worse on the individual because – We've never that depends we're, on who we're, the individual is. We're no, I think it's for everybody. We're not made to have this kind of connection with who says everything. We're not. We we were not wired for this. I, as I as can't an, agree with that. As a species, we're not wired to have the ability to intake the amount of information that we do from the different sources all day long. Different opinions, different. It's not just like one take on a thing. It's so many different takes on a thing. We're not made to do that. Here's this is fun. I like this. So there's there's the thinking, right? Gene, like our genes that make our DNA and shit. It we don't just come out a certain way from our parents, right? Genes mm-hmm. only exist in a setting. They have to exist in a space. A gene by by itself doesn't do anything. It has to be environmentally activated. 
Do you know what I mean? Like just just the idea of that. I, I mean, like you don't get your blue eyes until you are born. Like how how do you mean? Um, that would be. Yeah, 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 that's a shitty example on my part. But in the sense, like, uh, a more complicated, not just, like, appearance gene. But to your point, yeah, you have to be born and exist. You have to get oxygen, your muscles have to grow, your eyes have to change that color, all that shit. But let's say you have genes to be more likely to be an alcoholic or more likely to be violent. If your entire life you're in Plato's cave and you never see alcohol or experience violence, those genes aren't going to be activated. Fair? I would assume so, yeah. Yeah, that, that's my understanding, at least, is that genes only express themselves when they're activated. And most of our genes are necessarily activated by being born. And a lot of the other ones, like, there might be millions and millions of people that are heroin addicts, but they never touched uh, the right drug or a drug that activated they're more likely. So it's not that it. they're heroin addicts; is that they have a. Uh, but they tendency, are. They have a what tendency it, towards addiction, is what you're saying. What's the difference? Aren't we are who because we are if, physically? <laughs> Just because it didn't happen doesn't mean that's not part of us. <laughs> well, no, because if if you don't, if you're not addicted to heroin, then you're not a heroin addict. You could say that that person has addictive tendencies, uh, but they're not a heroin uh, addict. That's all I'm saying. I don't think you're wrong. I, I, but they have I'm the potential to abstract. be, but they are not. I, I would agree, but I, I would say, if I'm approaching this very abstractly, I I, I see how b- both have space. I'd say fundamentally in real world, yeah, yeah, I would agree with you. Okay, but I, I'm just saying that's like w- who we are is a, a part of us, regardless of how it manifested. It sounds a lot like fate talking, or. or um, pure freedom we chose our whole life never to pick up the bottle and we never activated that gene whatever either way my point would be is who we evolved to be the timeline is not ended i i don't think we can ever say we weren't meant to be this way we didn't evolve to be this because we don't know for all we know, the next million years of human existence, we are plugged in directly to a computer, and our fingers evolved to have USB sticks. And sure, we got a vape. We, I'm saying we we can get there, but right now we've only had twenty, maybe maybe twenty years, I'd say, of but everyone who, having all this access to the internet. And but who the, are we to say we are not meant for that? We aren't evolved because to that. we don't what evolve if, that fast. Evolution doesn't work that what, fast. What more evolutions do we need? We pick up our phone, we use the internet, we're recording podcasts, how, how are we yeah, maladapted? We, we can use it, and we can we can utilize it as, as much as we can make it grow, but what I'm saying is, there's never been a time before, in, in the entire existence of not just man, but all of life on planet Earth, Never has there been this much ability for input. I think this is a bad argument. What if, what if we go back to before humans could talk and we say humans were never meant to communicate our voices to each other. We weren't made for that. Our whole existence, we were made only to, to hear things. We're not meant to, or to taste things, whatever. Yeah, and we sense. can grow to do it, but it doesn't happen over 20 years throughout an entire species of animal. Do we need to physically evolve and to it, mentally evolve? No. Do we need to physically go through hundreds of years of change to be able to use a cell phone? No, but that's not the same thing. Evolution and being able to use isn't, a cell phone isn't the same thing. You uh, can be t- we can be taught to use tools because we are intelligent. Don't you, th- don't you think all these new Zoomer kids, so many of them learn to thrive on this and it's just their normal life? There's no adjustment. Yeah, they, that's um, and I agree with that. That's fine. But what I'm saying is – the human species, the, the creature that is a human, the animal that is human, has not been around this type of technology, this information, for long enough that it is encoded within our like innate abilities. Like that's like built in our head. Like we can learn how to use tools, sure. We can learn how to use resources. Absolutely. That's that's the thing that makes us you know, that separates us a lot from the, the animal. I know other animals can use tools too, sure. But you're being the pessimist. No, I'm not even being pessimistic. I'm being realistic. 
Oh, we just, <laughs> sorry. So we just switched. I think of you as super smart and capable. I think in your lifetime, you could evolve, whether it's mentally or physically. I, I don't see any reason that just because your ancestors didn't use these technologies or have all this input i see no reason why you're not able to it's not about me individually it's not about any individual person i'm saying as an animal i'm saying so we're smart animals what i'm saying is the technological advancements that i'll even say for the past 100 130 years the advancements that we've made as a species not just even in technology, but also in population. While we individually have adapted to the things that we have created, we are not innately, it's not a, it's not a instinctual response. I don't think anything is. I, I don't think if you gave us as a baby without any, we grew up as a baby in Plato's cave. No one ever told us anything and we're given, um, I don't know, what's what's a good example of a fucking gun or like a a, a, f- a spear, something our ancestors mm-hmm. used to hunt animals forever. I don't think yeah. we're innately know how to ha- navigate that. I don't think we know how to innately. But we know that we need food. We know that we need water. Okay, but we, we could spin my argument in a different way. I no, just think uh, the uh, argument uh, of like we aren't yet capable, we're not powerful enough to, to it's, master it's, things quickly. I, I guess – if I use the words capable, maybe that's not the right word. We're not equipped to be able to process. I just, I don't get how you, I, you're so self-empowered, like positive, you know, we can figure I'm, it out. I'm, I'm not saying, so that's, I, I feel like you're looking at this from a, the, the wrong, I think you're misunderstanding me. I might, I'm sorry. So what I'm, what I'm saying is evolution, Right doesn't just happen over hundreds of years, even like thousands of, this is many, many thousands of years that evolution occurs. Those evolutions, the, the, the things that make a new, like takes a species and helps them to form themselves into the next thing. Then a, a, a growth from that is evolution. That thing is usually a trait like, well, you know, uh, the, all of the animals are, is usually natural selection, shit like that. Like the animals around us are, you know, there's all these small animals that are eating all the low vegetation and we can't get to it. So we need to be able to reach higher. So, you know, the people, the, the animal with the longer necks win over many, many thousands of years, you get giraffes, you get, you know, like these, these deer, these gazelle with, you know, going throughout and they can branch off that way. That's this is what I'm saying is th- these are innate things that we are born with, maybe not so much physically, but it's a mental innateness to bring in all of this. Like we can look, we have the ability to Do innately look that? around and process information from around us, the perceptual things that we can see, hear, um, smell, taste, the, our senses, right? But when you have that plus the inclusion of Every person on the planet has a thing, a brick in their pocket that they can type out their thoughts into and you can ingest them. Just scroll through your phone and just ingest everything. I just don't see that as a big deal. I, I, I would argue what what takes more – like I don't even know what the right word would be, like uh, understanding IQ or capability – to live in a world where everyone can type messages into a phone box or to walk through the jungle listening for a jaguar. I don't see a difference. I don't, I don't see, I, I've never understood this type of argument where we're. Well, the, the difference is that it's, it's not one or the other. It's both. Cause you still have your senses that you're, 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 you're dealing with that when was, you're sitting around cle- in your I house. I see what even. you did. That's clever. But no, I, just, I mean, when you're still sitting around in your house, like if you hear something in the other room go up, you you stop and you look up. But do you really think it's that? This is like, I'll take a step back, like full full good faith mode. Do you, and this is like me asking like what you think, not trying to push an argument. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Do you really think it's that big of a deal that like we have this technology? Do you think it changes anything fundamentally as humans? Because I just. No. So it's the, the point of what I'm getting at 
I was trying to explain my point, but the point that what I'm getting at is it's the same thing I just said earlier of there's so much going on. You can't be expected to absorb it all. You can, you can try and you can like interpret it, but it's like, you can't focus on it. It's just, it's another thing. It's an, you have to, the, you, we put up the barriers that Too we much. do because Wait. you have to, you can't okay. ingest it all. I, I I think I get what you're saying now. It's just too much weight. It's like the rocks. There's, right. There's too. I I get. We've opened up gateways to more I, stuff than we could. I I think it's absolutely possibly. true that yeah sure you can read you could read every book in the world and whatever if you had the time and the the energy to sure go for it, but the it's like because you have the ability you have the thing in your hand you have the tool you know how to use it. What I'm saying is. With everything coming, with especially with now, it's like we have global news updated minute for minute for minute. If you're trying to keep up with it, you fucking can't, dude. You're gonna agree, you're gonna dude. wear yourself out. Do you, I'm just curious. I thought you were putting um, a connotation on that. Do you, do you feel like that's no? Good or I bad mean, or? like it's. I mean, it's, it remains to be seen. I I think the I the the spread of tech of technology is fantastic. I think it, they're the. I mean, that's the thing is like when you have all of this technology, you have all of this information. It's giving way to misinformation, and that's part of it. Yeah. It's like you're giving way to that's that you take the good with the bad, right? It's you take the. You know, if if you have a thing where everybody can share and everybody can partake in, you're gonna have shit apples that are in the mix that are gonna <laughs> fuck up your pie. I don't know. That's 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 the point. I, I don't know. The point I was getting now is that you know, it's it's just a lot. You know, don't fucking beat yourself up over it. Beat other people up for not fucking being particularly empathetic to every single cause. It's, we yeah, all need to take it a fucking step at a time, man. It's there's too much shit going on. Yeah, mm. it's fucking brutal out here, man. But we're good. Fuck them. Fuck them all. This is, I, I fuck think everybody. Fuck everybody in particular, except the people who are listening to this podcast. If you're not feeding them or fucking, them, if you're still listening, <laughs> man, that's the truth, right? Like. There could be a train fire right down the street for me, but if we were recording this podcast, my life would be fine, right? Mm -hmm. You're talking yeah. to a friend, you're, you're arguing, having fun, conversation. Who the fuck cares about it? I, I don't care if there's a school shooting right the fuck now. I don't care. If, if there right? was a train fire down the street from your house and you weren't walking down there with your laptop <laughs> to live stream for the podcast for content... <laughs> I would be upset. That would be funny. I mean, East Palestine, Ohio is not that damn far, Stephen. You know, I wonder, like, realistically, if there could be any effects to people here. I don't know. I assume cancer clusters will spike, sure. but I don't know how far those... Be growing are. extra limbs and shit, man. My days are already numbered. I don't have enough time to grow limbs like a yeah. salamander. <laughs> <laughs> I dig these conversations. I think the the philosophical aspect of i don't know even if i i love that you can play devil's advocate to it you know even if it's something that you believe but you push it you've you push it to a degree that makes con you know conflict and that's makes for good conversation and i'm i'm not good at that in particular i really enjoy aggressively disagreeing because I, I i feel like it's how you figure out what you believe truly is when so even if like Killing people is bad. Like someone, like why? Like why is fucking yeah, why? <laughs> why is fucking your cousin bad? Why? Like to you got to figure out like wh I don't know what's rude. I think I think when we have conversations like this or people do aggressively disagree, I think you flush out your own beliefs really well. Mm -hmm. And I just I think it's super fun. Yeah. Well, I um. I don't know. Yeah. I think that's enough for an episode today. Yeah, I gotta go catch another train track on fire. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. Thanks again for listening, everybody. <laughs> Thank you to Approaching Human for the use of his music. You can find his work on SoundCloud at Approaching-Human. If you didn't already listen to last week's episode with John, we had uh, our interview with Approaching Human. Uh, you need to go listen to that. Absolutely. It went super well. And uh, yeah, it was so good to finally talk to you on the podcast. John, you've been one of our 
biggest supporters, and I, I learned a lot. Thank you. Fuck yeah, brother. Make sure to check out the show page at Trash Cats Trash Cast on Instagram for news and arts from the show. Check out Facebook for the memes. For the memes, if you're super bored, you can check out my trash yard on Instagram at SkyZix, S-K-Y, Z-S-C-X. Got a new piece coming up very shortly. And then next week, big mystery on that, but we got a couple cool, uh, some chill stuff and some research stuff on the way, so... Stay tuned. Cool stuff. Hell yeah. I'm going to go huff some paint and eat some cat food and put my ass to sleep. It's going to be <laughs> all for us today. Stay classy, eat trashy. Go classy, eat trash. good combination of huffing the paint and eating the cat food getting the cat food in your stomach you start to get all sick and you just fall asleep and that's dizzy <laughs>